welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Azini Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. And the parrot spoke. Even though my expectations were not met, but at least it's a start. Honestly, I delayed making this video because I actually wanted to hear everything the parrot had to say because in my head, I thought this parrot was going to be spilling more gist. But um, bah, this parrot decided to be dropping this gist one after the other. And to think that I specifically cleared whatever I had to do by 9 p.m. just to watch this parrot and it's only one, you know, snitching that this parrot did. Anyways, it's it was good. I mean, um, I noticed some things which I'll tell you later in this video. But before we talk about, you know, the parrot and the snitching that the parrot did, a very big congratulations to the housemate because they won their wager for the second time. And this time around, I believe they deserve it because they put in their all. The fashion show was not just about fashion. It was about dance. It was about music. It was about comedy. I had so much fun. Alex, baby, that girl can dance. White money and fraud are super hilarious. Like, I laughed my ass out. I'm not even going to lie. Like, they were making me laugh. Kudos to the creative directors, Angel Uriel. Like, Angel was exceptional. And to think that she put in her best in this tax, kudos to her. The models, oh my days. Eleva, yeah, the Gen Z body. Shorting on that runway. Neo, Cross, um, all of them. Uriel, princess. I mean... I think today is the day that I actually noticed how cute Princess's legs are. Yes, guys, this was cute. But the highlight of the whole runway for me was Ike. Ike showed us, you know, um, I don't know, back to nature vibes, Adam vibes. Like, have you guys seen that film? Um, the gods must is it the gods the gods must be mad or something? There's this film, I forgot it. It's a very old film. That movie that, you know, that Bushman was carrying a bottle of Coca-Cola. I don't know if you guys remember it. That is what Ike's outfit reminded me of. Especially when he turned his back, I'm like, oh my goodness, I have seen Ike's butt cheeks. But honestly, the first thing that came into my head, the moment Ike turned, aside from seeing him as another description of that Bushman in that movie, seeing his butt cheeks actually did remind me of what Messi said on Saturday. I'm like, ah, hey, hey, he clean up so. <laughs> forgive you but honestly that's what i saw and then again um when they were not paired and i saw okay this is the team here messi and you know um ek you know and white money is crazy said white money and brother were like oh before they were a couple now they're a couple i'm like you are mad but honestly it was actually funny that they paired both of them together and i understood okay this is giving naked and butt naked like okay i can get it i understand it now you know a couple that shows their butt together excels together so it makes sense also another um funny coincidence I don't know if it's a coincidence or they just decided to do it. It's Neo and Ilebaye. Do you guys notice that they gave them the same outfit for the male and female? Yes. All in all, I had so much fun. But for me, I just felt like they needed more organization and time management, which we rather pointed out for them. At the end of everything, they could not beat or they could not do everything within the 90 minutes, you know, that was um, put out for them. So Big Brother had to cut them. And Big Brother commended Angel, Princess, Cece, Yorel, Venita, and all the people that put in work to design the outfits because these ladies, without a sewing machine, just with needle and thread, made good use of all the props and all the materials that Big Brother gave them. And not just that, he also commended the um, models that strutted the runway. Also, our MCs, show comedians, Big Brother patted them on the back and said, you've done well. Big Brother now goes ahead to one, Neo, um, telling him to stop putting off his transmitter when he's talking because it looks like he's formed the habit. We better ask him if his transmitter is faulty. He said no. We better told him that from henceforth, he has to be audible when he speaks and whoever he wants to speak with, like he should let them know that they have to be audible because honestly, 
Neo and Talani Badge, when they start that their midnight gossips, they always kind of like put their mic away from their mouth. They are always whispering. So I'm glad that Big Brother called them out on that. At the end of the day, Big Brother told them that they have won their wager for the first time this season. Honestly, I was really anticipating Big Brother to say that. Unlike last week that I was pleased that Big Brother gave them the win. This week, I'm actually glad that they got it because they worked so hard. All right. Once again, congratulations to them. Now, after that presentation, they were all happy and all that. That was when the parrot decided to strike. So some of them were in the kitchen area and then the parrot started making a sound and they didn't really catch that sound earlier on. So by the time they came, the parrot was already like um, in the middle of his sentence. They had to wait for the parrot to repeat it again. Now more housemates came and gathered around that um, parrot statue. And that was when the parrot repeated that conversation. You remember that um, stuff that Ike said about pimping out? you know, BB Niger girls to the ballers. That's how he makes his most money and said that Venita knows because he has done it with her several times. That was the conversation that the parrots repeated. That same thing that Ike said, the parrots repeated it, of course, with an automated voice. Yes, guys. So, of course, you know, the housemates heard Venita's name and they started looking at Venita. Some of them, like White Money, has already started opening his mouth and talking about how you know EK told them. So most of them actually know that it's EK. While some of them still have not decoded it yet, Venita was still analyzing and all that. Now everybody knows that whatever they say, the parrots will snitch. But the thing here is they don't know if it's just what is being said in the lounge area or in the house in general. Like, I cannot wait for the power to talk about how, you know, Mercy said that Ike does not wipe his bum. Like, I cannot wait to see that. All in all, it wasn't really what I expected, like I said in the beginning of this video. I actually thought this parrot will snitch better yes like i expected more gist but i think you know the parrot is taking its time you know to get a more gist even though i feel like there's a lot that has been said in the past week that should be said in the presence of everybody so i don't know if it's going to be every friday 9 p.m that's when the parrot is going to be striking i don't know but we'll tell that big brother has up his sleeve if he wants to continue with this he better make it much more spicy and all that the reaction we all wanted to see wasn't what we saw but then at least it has given us something I said in the beginning of this video i noticed something now when venita obviously she knows i mean listening to it and analyzing it she already know okay it's Ike that said it because she already said you know when those that power said what it said she said she knows who said that and having the housemate say you know what Ike said you know so of course she knows who said it and what was said but the surprising thing for me was she did not go to confront Ike at least not at this time that I'm making this video she has not gone to confront him. That begs me to ask this question. Is it that probably what Ike said is true? Because the Venita, we all know. The moment you call her name in some crazy situations, she will flip. But it's crazy that she has not flipped on Ike yet. Probably because she knows that if she does that, Ike being a guy that literally has nothing to lose will spill more. So, hmm, like Big Brother, hmm, let's see, Sha, let's see how this will go. But I'm loving it, even though I expected more. I expected more, you know, deeper, you know, gossips to be sneaked about. Let's see how this is going to go. I'm loving this power, Sha. I hope these parrots will give me more tea, will, you know, shake up the house more and let them know that nobody is the boss in that house except Big Brother. What are your thoughts on all that? Let me know in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Yo, until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ New Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.